two, one, and we roll. Hey guys, welcome back. This time, if you remember one of my previous videos, I went through this interface of Boki AI, which is run by one of my entrepreneur friends, and I tried to critique it and bash it and tell exactly what should be improved and how in order to one, have a better content strategy, to have better UX strategy, and three, market the about to be launched startup capabilities better. And today I'm gonna use Envision Studio. I'm gonna limit myself to just one hour, try to learn Envision Studio screen design as much as possible and see where the limits are, and you know, just familiarize myself even more. And two, gonna provide my friend with a you know, improved design, with a facelift, which he can just use and implement whenever he feels like it. And three, I think we're gonna just have good time jamming. And it would be good if you could just go back and watch my video of design critique of the site first, so you know exactly what areas I'm about to target. And let's just be fair, it's one hour, and in one hour you can do a lot, but you also can do very little, dependent on how it goes. So let's see what I can come up with in one hour using Envision Studio, and let's do it now. Right off the bat, let's create uh, maybe Dell. I don't really know what the dimensions are, but let's create our new canvas. Boom. So uh, I realized mid recording that everything I was saying to kind of convey exactly why I'm making decided choices or whatever I make decided choices are ignored. And um, it just because the microphone was, uh, you know, screwing up as I was doing so. So I'll need to walk you through again and just highlight exactly why I did what I did. And so since one hour already passed, uh, I think it's a good idea to just go through what I came up with using Envision Studio and exactly what challenges it faced. Now, Envision Studio from get-go, that placing different images, it tend to misplace them or make them invisible. So for example, a thing like a button, let me show you like a rectangle here, and if I would set the radius to more than zero, it would become uh, invisible, which is a bit, you know, a shame. And I couldn't figure out for, I don't know, five minutes, why was this happening? And I think it's something with uh, rendering of a shape. And then we have other issues. So for example, placing a big photo inside, it would just misplace it somewhere outside. So it's a good idea to check the dimensions. But here is the design. As you can see, this is the old bulky, which is like really plain, simple. And then I came up with a little bit more um, more approachable, a bit better story, a bit more professional as well, a bit more clean. But I placed different buttons here and there, simplified the form. As you can see, Visual Studio is still rendering font quite choppy. So you have those kind of webs around the font and it doesn't really look clean. It's kind of like really hard to design it that way. I then added uh, a marker to scroll down because naturally users would see the space like this. If we preview, I think we can see a big 
screen type of deal. And here it is. And if we preview all web, let's see desktop HD to see exactly how it would look like. As you can see, Envision tries to resize it um, because the canvas is actually a little bit bigger. Uh, but let's go back to the design. So the user would basically see this. They would have a bit better copy to understand how it goes and, and then see some sort of benefits down below different icons. And you know, they can compare providers, they can find best deal for them. They can select them and say, so it's much, much more cleaner approach to what was there before and, and a bit different. Again, I had pet peeves with the logo itself, with the messaging, with you know marketing and content strategy for this one, but I think it's it's pretty damn good. And I think this is like a if not a like necessarily a big upgrade for Bocky, it's it's a stepping stone so they can get inspired and maybe more, work more closely with their designers. To, you know to upgrade it and and, and 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 just keep on going because you can't launch a product if you can't get any interest from people and since it's a startup and they're doing it lean they want to fail fast so to fail fast it's good to see if people are interested and if you actually want to get in and find out more about the product so this sums up you know my first experience of Envision Studio I have other videos about comparing it to its principles, sketch, stuff like that, but I wasn't really designing screens in depth. In this one I was, and I saw how limited and complicated it can get. Uh, the basics are there, so you can come up with a design like that, or even better if you want to, but there are limits which just, you know, are surprising, or you need to get, like, walk around with that button. But hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna attempt next time to actually make maybe a live video on YouTube or make a better walkthrough where telling you exactly why I'm doing what I'm doing and where the limits are and where the dependencies are. And if you like this video, as you always leave a comment uh, telling me what should I improve. Maybe if you do something different, let me know. I would be really interested to find out about that. Give a like, share, also subscribe to this channel. Really appreciate it. And see you next time.